welcome back to part two of the BMW F30 roof rack. If you guys are just catching up, we went ahead and removed the shark fin antenna. This was really cool. We were able to do this in one piece. So if you guys missed that video, be sure to go check that out. Essentially, all we have to do once we get the rest of the roof wrapped is pop this back on. Today, however, we are going to be working on these side rails. So both of these side rails on each side are going to come off and we're going to go ahead and wrap those in gloss black and I'm just doing this piece by piece so instead of making one long video I figure you guys can just follow along and do it as you please so let's go ahead and pop these off I've got a couple trim tools that we can use if you guys don't have anything like this um, maybe try a credit card with some with a microfiber over it so you don't scratch anything but these are definitely useful pick these up on Amazon for like four bucks so if I'm not mistaken we should be able to take our trim tools work from the back forward and just pry this thing up. Now just go ahead and replicate that on the other side. As you can see under here, you have these tabs right here and they basically just hook onto the trim piece itself. So um, just go ahead, these clips line up like that. But what you wanna do is basically get some tension on it this way and lift up and pull on it this way at the same time. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna put you in a good spot this time so you guys can actually watch me wrap. I'm just basically gonna start by taking this rubbing alcohol and a microfiber and cleaning up all of these pieces, both the edges that we're gonna be wrapping and the obviously flat surfaces themselves. Everything is set up. I've got the pieces cleaned up, so now it's ready to be wrapped. I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys a more detailed view of what we're gonna be doing here. Here I've cut a piece of wrap that is obviously longer than this piece, and it's about that much wider, so I gave myself plenty to work with. If you look close, you'll see this actually has a piece of rubber on it right here that you can kind of peel back. So we're gonna basically lay the vinyl flat on this face right here and then tuck it underneath this and this little rubber is on both sides so you're going to basically do that on both sides and then we'll just wrap the corners like you would normally wrap anything and just kind of pull it around the edge. I guess without further ado let's just get started. I'm going to break out the heat gun and we'll get these things wrapped. Here's where I'm at so far. I got this side all done. I almost had to redo this whole piece because I was cutting this film too short and then it just wouldn't stick around this corner. But I think it's gonna hold now, so time will tell. I did also cut this out, so I just basically laid it out, took the heat gun, and kind of used the card here to make an indentation where this cutout goes. And then obviously just, you know, took the knife and cut it through. Took the heat gun again and just cleaned up all these corners and now we have a functional roof rack if we need it. I'm about halfway through this piece so I've got, you know, actually about halfway. So I'll catch up with you guys when this is all done. So here's how the first one came out. I know it's really hard to see any imperfections. Well, because I'm an awesome rapper and there aren't any, LOL. But um, no, I'm just kidding guys. It's just black so it's really hard to see imperfections but we did get the entire thing wrapped. I got all the cutouts cut out so those are usable this camera sucks at focusing but you get the picture on to the second one Here is both of the pillars all done in gloss black. The second one definitely came out better than the first. I may end up having to redo the first just because I believe it's this side is starting to peel up a bit. I think some moisture was stuck under the wrap, which is now causing the adhesive to fail. But if I have to redo the first one again, now that I've done the second one, I have a much better technique of getting it done. I'm gonna hold off on actually putting the pillars back on until we have the actual roof wrapped. So stay tuned for part three where we will do the roof wrap and button everything up with the shark fin antenna and these pillars. 
Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace out.